All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready, his mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Ben. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Vicious. Herb Dean, our referee right, for this right. one. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nice kick. Oh, going for the takedown here. Well done. He catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. What a nasty flying knee to the head. Hands up. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. There's the kick. It's blocked. Trading huge shot. Let's see. He's going to be the last man standing. And now some separation. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. You gotta be kidding me, how did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Nice straight punch. Whiffs on the straight right hand. 
Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, gonna get up a cut. Just misses with the straight right. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, misses with the jab. Another combination here really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, they're stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job. Great timing on that double leg. Another big kick out there. Just over two minutes to go. All right, he's got him in the north-south position. Dars, yep, trying to hit the Dars here. Oh, my goodness. That Dars choke is very tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Back to his feet. Oh, and a head kick there. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Nice kick. Straight right hand, no good. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a tumble either. Favorite strike. Man, he's found the range with his kickboxing tonight, to be sure. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of family investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. And he connects there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got to get better defensively, or that's going to be a real factor as this fight continues. He's got to tuck that elbow. I mean, he's got that elbow flaring, and every time his opponent's going right up under it, landing right to the body. He's got to do something different right now, or he's going to get to a point where he will not be able to continue this fight. Oh, nice. Lands that punch. Right. Five minutes in the books. We won that last one. It's all over with the submissions. Now let's avoid that. We trained this in the gym. A good defense showed you know what you're doing. But you're doing little... You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Nice walk. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuff to take down, no problem. And he lands the hook. Takedown defense holds up. Uppercut lands. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his toe. He's not moving his head up anymore. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. 
again, half guard. Gotta watch his deck. Oh, that Von Flu choke is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively but also defensively. These are big shots and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is stunning off the mat. Elbow. And now he's got the back. This is where he wants to be. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Making all these shots count. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working out of the half guard here. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, right to the mouth. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh, another strike lands from the top. He goes back to the well and lands another strike from the top. And now you can see the swell. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. That would end the night. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, doing work with the jab. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Right on that. <laughs> Ten minutes in the books. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, here. and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. You will work with that jab. Jab lands. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection and a lot of success with it in the previous round and picking up exactly where he left off. Nice front kick.
Big power shot there. Oh, single power tie here. Double leg takedown. Big right hook there by the champ. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack with an arm triangle. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, and he's out. And he is back up to his feet. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other PC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Takedown defense. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Another takedown land. Just a, oh, it looks like he's setting up for a finish here. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Yep, got to be very careful there. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Open him right up. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Lands the ground and pound strike. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. It's in there deep. There you go. What is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not gonna help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Great shot from the top position. Nice. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse, and he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, he's going triangle here. That is tight. Positional control here. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. All right, inside oh, his opponent's guard oh. here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. 
he found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Do it. round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the upper. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or pick round and pop. Massive shot from the top. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that he's getting deeper by the middle. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Thought about a choke, instead flattens him out, and now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down with ground bomb. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Now he's going full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. And there's a takedown attempt. Always be close and busy in the clinch here. The pitch is good. Big shot, man. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Great setup. That was a nasty high kick. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing. It's nice, beautiful punch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. He's the first one. He's brutalized him with the burn ball. This fight is close to being done. Duffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, block that punch. Back kick there. Well, you know Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibited on their face. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Down, down. 
Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, shit. Ten seconds now to go on the round. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. 20 minutes Stop. down, potentially five to go. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to, to put his opponent down. Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, connects with the one-two. Takedown defense is there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Now he's got the single collar and the clinch. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, oh, right hand. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Well, he's been rendered defensive at this point, but a nice job getting his hands up to protect that cut and prevent any further damage. And now some separation. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, huge right hand! Nice defense here, single leg takedown attempt will not materialize. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. That one bears watching. That high kick will get you spinning. Great landing. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. All right, this position now, what we call... All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Getting awfully close on the submission now. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Straight right, he misses. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Switching stances here. Beautiful entry on that takedown. Great finish also. Look for him now to secure his opponent to try and solidify his position. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. He's got to either go south or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Another good thing. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, that's getting in deep now. That's real deep, John. He's got to be careful. Arm triangle attempt. He's got to get that elbow going forward. He's got to drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Back to the jab now. All right, 
So as a result of one of those leg kicks, he is now limping. He hasn't been rendered a one-legged fighter, but his mobility has absolutely been compromised. Well, you can check it right now. It's easy to see. You can see that this guy has struggled. You can see that he's very, very hurt from these leg kicks. Even checking the kicks now will not help because the damage has been done. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, good work in the clinch here. Knees to the body, landing flush. Whiffs on the right hand. Another big kick now. He passed the half guard. Side control. Leon's belly. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shot. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is, as, that is as close to the term that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon early. He made a lot of mistakes early. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. Two of the most exciting words in all of mixed martial arts and new. I think we're going to hear Bruce Buffer utter those very words tonight. And new. And he relied on his striking in order to take the belt from the former champion. He fought beautifully tonight, and we are all proud to call him new UFC champion. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 50-44, and 50-45. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.